Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, ahead of what I even thought was on the schedule, as of now, you can already get Chromium packaged directly from Linux Mint inside of Linux Mint 20. Yeah, the thing that they were supposed to and probably should have done when they first released it, but hey, as I've always been saying, Linux Mint does listen to their users. Their users said it was foolish to do how you did it. They said, put it in there. Linux Mint team responded. So let's head on over to the desktop with a freshly installed Linux Mint. I ran the updates and I'll show you what goodies we have now. So here we are on the Linux Mint desktop and this is Linux Mint 20. It's the same download you've been able to get for a while. They have not refreshed the downloads. This is not 20.1, nor is it a beta. This is the current Cinnamon Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop with all of the current updates. Now they added a one change to their packages. They added one alpha software and they have one thing in their notes that it looks like is not incorporated into the updates as of yet. So let's have a look at their monthly newsletter here. We're gonna go ahead and start at the bottom with favorites. So what they're adding here is similar to what Ubuntu did in the latest version where now you have a favorites folder you're going to be able to find it inside of your navigator and they actually have a desktop app for it as well. Now, none of that's working on this build right this second, so we'll go ahead and revisit how this works on the next release. What is in here is they did do the talk about having an IPTV application and apparently there was enough favorable response that they released the alpha build. You can head to the Linux Mint um newsletter here from October and grab the deb package. It is a very minimal configuration. In fact, there's really no settings in it, but this guy is going to allow you to grab a variety of television stations. They do have documentation for adding your own resource. I did find out that if you try and add something from like a local network share, it does crash the application. So don't try that, at least not yet. And I could not figure out how to uh, undo that step. And so I just got ahead and, uh, and killed it. However, if you build an M3U file on a local web server that you might have, that might actually work. Maybe I will give that one a try and have a look when we're done with this video video because, hey, I have a local web server I can play with. Let's go ahead and give it a try. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about what we have built in. You can start by looking for your individual country. And then when you have your individual country, it will list a variety of different stations. So these I'm guessing are more syndicated stations. And there's some more local stations. So, you know, Miami TV, Miami City, there's a lot of different things. Um, so you can go ahead and see what all is in here. I did see over here InfoWars TV for you guys that like the Alex Jones. There you go. You got your InfoWars there. So pretty much you just figure out whatever you would like to play. And then we're just going to double click it. I guess single click it's just fine. So here we are. Now we're playing InfoWars. Let's see if uh, audio is going to work. Just go ahead and jack up the audio here. It should work just fine. If you come in and you fold up your skateboard, you got COVID. They are depending on our ignorance. I have a new book coming out that'll be out in a few weeks before I go see Tim Pool. All right. And let's find our applications. Make sure that's good. So there we have it. So now we're watching now we're watching that kind of stuff. I know some of you guys love that, some of you guys hate it. Now, this is a alpha application, so there's some things that aren't working. I found that I can't easily switch between shows. Maybe if you click on them, it'll reload after a period of time. But I was finding that I usually had to shut Hypnotics down and then reboot it. You'll notice there's no, uh, there's no play indicators, there's no pause, no mute, no anything, because this is a complete alpha build, just kind of an experimental. Like I said, I'm going to experiment with putting this on a local network share server or maybe some website 
and see what it does. But there you have it. You can go ahead and find a variety of different TV programs, uh, including some internet shows. So they have that application and it is a dev package. So you should be able to build it on most Debian type systems. And finally, we do finally have Chromium. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and boot up the software manager. Now, there is a little bug as of now in uh, how it's reported, but we'll go ahead and uh, show you that Chromium will work. So if we search for Chromium, notice we have Chromium web browser, but our picture is actually from the Chromium BSU game. But if you read the pop-up here, it is a web browser. So let's go ahead and install the web browser there. Get our super secret password. That's definitely not one, two, three. And then, of course, down here, this is still in here, which is the dummy package. It's still here, I believe. Uh, that's the dummy package. So that should be removed. Uh, and then Chromium BSU, this is actually the game that they're utilizing the same images for. So there's a couple fixes that still need to be set inside of this. I've already from the Linux Mint team is watching. This is what I've noticed. But nevertheless, it does actually work just fine. So it's installing. Now it's installed. Let's go ahead and just have a look at our menu and find internet. And here is your Chromium web browser and our current version. Whoops. Yep, there is uh, 86. Now, what are they, the, they did this here. They packaged their own version because there was some concern about the older version. Uh, the Debian one they were packaging prior to this was a much older version. And so this will get uh, updated and, and ported over um, to have the more recent versions. And good news for you, Linux Mint Debian edition users, they are, are backporting this build back into LMDE so that you guys will have a newer, more up-to-date version of Chromium when you're running the Debian version of Linux Mint. So all that is excellent news. So once again, there you have it. The Linux Mint team is doing some amazing things inside of their application. They are adding a lot of new software with their IPTV. They're listening to their users, putting the Chromium package back in there. And I know some of you guys are going to say, well, you should have had a toggle button, turn on, turn off, snap. That's not correct because they have philosophical issues with the way snap is. That's why they didn't make it simple to turn on and turn off like Manjaro does. But they do give you the instructions to enable it if you need to. I stand by them in that decision because it's a philosophical argument. It's not a ease of usability argument. Manjaro took the ease of usability argument. Both of them, I think, did it right. They, they both did it right in their, their own directions. Nevertheless, uh, there is what Linux Mint is up to right now with the monthly updates. And yeah, indeed, the Chromium package came even sooner than I was anticipating. So does this mean we should probably upgrade to, um, upgrade to Linux Mint 20 yet? I'm still gonna personally going to be holding back my systems to 19.3 at the most for now. And uh, I'll probably upgrade maybe when we get to the 20.1. The I like getting all the bugs worked out in the software first. So there is what Linux Mint's up to. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.